Hello, this is Jason, the developer behind Korea, a 2D RPG sandbox game. Korea is currently available for pre-order with the media access to the beta. Korea is also up on Greenlight, so please take a moment to vote for us. In this video, I will be showcasing modding in Korea. First off, why are we supporting modding anyways? What's the big deal? Well, I want to be able to enable players to not only express themselves, but also provide them a fun way to explore game development and hopefully gain some skills along the way. I actually started off making StarCraft maps, and through that I became interested in programming, which made a huge impact on my life. One day, I hope Korea can do the same for others. Modding in Korea is powered by the scripting language Python. With a real programming language, the modding in Korea can include original logic, such as new systems or unique items. As a proof of concept, I decided to implement the majority of the gameplay systems and all of the content as if it was a mod. This means that just about everything you see in the game can be modded. In Korea, there are two types of files, standard Python files with the .py extension and content files that have the .ce extension. The Python files contain game systems, common gameplay mechanics, and lots of code glue. Typically, Python files are for much more advanced mods. Content files, on the other hand, are purely for representing game content, which can be an item, a monster, or perhaps something else. Content files are in fact Python files that Korea treats differently. In attempts to simplify things, there are content templates which have a very descriptive interface. This makes reading content files much easier. Just like everything, existing templates can be modified and new templates can be added easily. I have put a great deal of effort into streamlining modding and I want to take a moment to share some. First of all, I've created and plan to make available very soon the game engine as a Python module. This means that you can import the module from the command line, terminal, or in Python scripts without having the game running. This is extremely useful for figuring things out for yourself or running unit tests, whatever. Next up is automatic script and content reloading. If you change either a Python or content file with the game running, then it will automatically detect your change and reload the file and any content dependent on the file you changed. This is an amazing feature because it enables you to quickly iterate on your work. Want to change the strength of a monster's attack? Easily done. Another modding feature, one that I've never seen before, is the ability to mod the UI. This is without a doubt an advanced topic, but still very cool. The UI is implemented using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, with most of the logic in a corresponding Python script. Oh, you want automatic file reloading too? Well, okay. All right, one more. To assist in learning how to mod and what the game is capable of, I have been working on putting together modding documentation. Right now it is extremely bare bones with only the engine API skeleton, but eventually I'd love for it to be filled with tutorials, a well-documented engine API, and other helpful resources. Doing this along with developing Korea is just too much for me. So I've opened up the documentation to the public. Anyone can help contribute over on the GitHub repository. I've also made the current documentation available online over at playkorea.com mod. There are so many more features I'd love to share, but those will have to wait for another day. If you'd like to support Korea, then you can do so by pre-ordering the beta and voting for us on Greenlight. If you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to like this video. In future videos, I am planning to dive a little deeper and make some basic modding tutorials. If there is anything in particular that you would like to see, then mention it in the comments. Thanks for watching.